Good morning, friends. Welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny, and we live in Garden in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today, I wanted to give you a quick update on my seed starting efforts, all the different varieties that I've got going on. Um, I've been away uh, for the last uh, five or six days, and so that's why you haven't heard from me lately. Um, but my husband was keeping good care of all my seedlings everywhere, so let's take a look and see how things are doing. I've got two shelves of grow lights full right now. So let's take a peek real quick. This is Gomfrina, it's doing pretty well. Still little babies, um, but we do have the first set of true leaves on some of the plants, but not all of them. So they're taking their sweet old time at, at getting big enough. Um, the status, we've got three rows of status here. And they're very short, but they do have these long strappy leaves are the seed leaves or the cotyledons. And then the fuzzier ones that are coming in be, uh, behind smaller, those are the true leaves. So we do have true leaves on all of the status seedlings. Um, the status are, uh, let's see, heavenly blue, um, not sure, something blue and something white status. So three colors of status. Back in this area here, I'm not gonna be able to get very close, but these are the radishes that I'm growing and I'm gonna to try to grow them all the way to completion indoors. I've been fertilizing them with fish food fertilizer about once a week. So we see like this one was a late, um, late germinator. This one is quite a bit ahead. And so you can see some of those are doing better than others. Over here, we've got mahogany splendor hibiscus. They're doing pretty well. And here are some iron white stock and quartet rainbow stock, and they're doing pretty well too. Um, they've both, they've all got at least one set of new true leaves, and some of them have two sets of true leaves on them. Here's my mescaline lettuce. This is going to be treated as a cut and come again lettuce, so it's almost ready to harvest as a baby lettuce leaves here. So I'll be doing that in the next probably a day or two. In this, we've got snapdragons. So we've got Potomac Pink, Madam Butterfly Rose, Potomac Apple Blossom, and Bridal Pink snapdragons in this tray. And they all look pretty good. Under here, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna look through the plastic. On this end, we've just got germination on scabiosa. We've got um, royal blue scabiosa and white scabiosa. Here we've got Nicotiana that has not yet germinated. And over here, this is Cardinal Flower that hasn't germinated yet. And then on this end, these are my dahlias from seed that um, have both, uh, they've all popped up, but they don't have any true leaves on them yet. Down on this end, this is why I turned the camera on this morning. These are my snap peas, not snap peas, my sweet peas in my root trainers, and they have all germinated and they've been growing nicely. I've got wind on them, so they'll be stronger. But because our weather is so warm, I'm gonna be taking these outside today. These are Cosmos. They're tall as well, and they've got a lot of true leaves coming along on them. Uh, over here, more things germinating. Uh, let's see, we've got underneath there, what is that? Dang it, I can't read it. Ageratum is germinated, Celosia is germinated this morning, it wasn't last night, uh, and then Dusty Miller is germinated. So those are doing well. In the back there, uh, we've got straw flowers, fever fuse, yarrow, cathedral bells, and cypress vines, all germinated and growing along back there. And then over on this end, uh, well, it's hard to see, isn't it? I hope you can just trust me that down in the back right corner, I've got my window box planter full of two kinds of basil and one type of cilantro, and it's doing well. It's ready to move upstairs onto the kitchen counter probably. And then um, there's an echinacea that I had planted eight cells, only two of them are up. And there's the blackberry lily that I planted four cells, only one of them is up. And there's the verbena bonariensis, which I planted four cells. None of those are up. I don't think they're going to work. And I've read online that a lot of people have trouble getting verbena bonariensis to sprout indoors, and I certainly am. They're back in that back right corner sitting on a heat mat, and I was hoping that that would help them all germinate, but uh, have pretty low germination rate on the echinacea, the blackberry lily, and none on the verbena so far. 
So that's what's indoors. Let's go take a peek outside and see what is blo not blooming, but growing outside in the direct sown window boxes of lettuce and in the winter sown containers. It's such a gorgeous day here. It is windy, but we're supposed to get up into the uh, low 80s today. And uh, it's already 64 and it's only 8.30 in the morning. So it's gonna be quite a warm day. And so I'm expecting that if they haven't yet, many of our winter sown containers might germinate today. We'll see. But here we are at the window boxes where I planted two kinds of lettuce and one kind of radish. So let's see how they're doing. I do have them under some tool to keep the rabbits and squirrels out of them. But let's take a peek here. These are my French breakfast radishes and they're all sprouted and they're doing well and they are moistened. We have had rain, so um, they're doing fine with moisture. I haven't fertilized them yet, but I will be doing that pretty soon. So they're looking good. These were direct sown into this window box a few weeks ago, and they just now sprouted. They just now sprouted. I think they were waiting for the weather to warm up. Um, so I'm going to be using these as cut and come again types of lettuce. Um, so I'm not going to let them go to full heads. You can see the Merlot lettuce there with the red leaves. And then over on the other end, the green leaves are the butter crunch. And it looks like we got pretty good germination. Um, yeah, so sorry about the wind, folks. It's just too windy for my audio to work very well on this video. And so I'm excited about this. Um, last year I tried to grow some lettuce and radishes and they didn't do well and I don't know why. So this year I'm going to be paying closer attention to them, making sure they don't dry out too much, keep the tool on them as long as I can so that the animals stay out of it. And I'm hoping that this will be a successful venture with these container sown outdoor lat uh, lettuce and radish. Let's look at this bunch of uh, winter sowing containers and see what might be happening in there. Oh, I see green leaves. Yay. These are violas. Johnny Jump Ups over here and King Henry variety over here. Looks like we don't see any King Henrys, but the Johnny, oh, maybe one. Oh yeah, I see them. All right, so there's some of both kinds of violas coming. Yay, they look like they might be dry, so I need to water this one. In here we have spearmint and sage. Not see, oh, there's some sage coming right there. Yay, I don't see any spearmint yet. And here we have wildflowers of a variety of types. Bloodroot, Trillium, Jacob's Ladder, and Lily of the Valley. And I think I see some bloodroot sprouted, but that's about it. In here we've got white swan echinacea. Uh, I'm not seeing anything in there yet. In here we've got Dusty Miller. Yep, there's some little teeny tiny dusty millers in there. They're hard to see, but they're there. In this container, we've got some Baptisia seeds that came off of my own Baptisia last fall, and I don't see anything happening in there yet. These are Fairy Morse mixed color foxgloves. Oh, and look how many there are. Lots of foxglove babies. They are so reliable in my garden. Oh, lots of alyssum. Look how many alyssum. We've got a few different kinds in here. Looks like Royal Carpet, Carpet of Snow, and Oriental Nights. Got lots coming along there. Hungarian Blue Poppies. Yep, there are some seedlings of poppies in there. That's good. Yay. Let's see if there's any balloon flowers. These seeds came off of my plants. Nope, nothing in there. Verbena Benariensis. Boy, I hope. Uh, no, I don't see anything yet. Boy, I hope I can get these seeds to grow. Tick seed or Coreopsis. Let's check. No, nothing in there yet. Wild ginger, I think I put 12 seeds in here. Do we see anything coming? Oh, yeah, maybe. White foxgloves, these are seeds off of my plants from last year. Is there any going on in here? Ah, yeah, lots of good ones. So quite a few of these do have good sprouts coming along. Some of them don't. They do need water. I'm gonna look in the forecast and see if we have rain expected. Today's gonna to be pretty hot though, so I'll probably set them all into a tray of water and let them soak up from the bottom rather than trying to use a hose from the top. That would be silly. So that'll be a chore for today to let these soak in some water. Let's go look at the other ones that are up in the backyard on the stage. And while we're walking up that way, Let's take a look at these um, pots of bulbs that are here in the courtyard. Is there anything in 
there. The pansies have seen some winter wear, but they'll be fine. I did fertilize this container two days ago, I think. Nothing come in there yet. Oh, but I do see something over here. Yay. All right, and actually there's a pansy getting ready to put another bloom on. So that's good. The pansies have lived through and the bulbs are coming. Good. Over here in this window box container, I've got pansies and daffodils. And I do see the daffodils have survived the squirrel attacks and they're coming. Yay. A couple more weeks and we'll have daffodil blooms in this with pansies. I'm going to probably trim these down a little bit so that they'll reflush a little bit healthier and stronger. My azalea standard is doing fine. I top dressed it with more soil recently because it had sunken down pretty low. And then these are just leftover containers from when I cleaned out. And here are some daffodil containers. And they've been looking like that for about a month and a half now because we had a warm spell in January that made them poke up, but they have been biding their time since then. And so they'll be coming along soon too, yay. Okay, so we're coming down into the backyard here, down to the stage where I have my first set of winter sewing containers. These were put out about a week, maybe two weeks earlier than the others, but that doesn't matter. Um, that is not what makes your winter seeds decide to germinate. Getting them out earlier doesn't make them germinate earlier. It just makes sure that you have them in enough cold season for the seeds to do their thing along with Mother Nature. So I'm not expecting all of these to be further ahead than those down there just because I put them out a week earlier. Again, they're just waiting for the weather to be right for what they need. Whether I put them out a week or two weeks or three weeks early, that really doesn't matter. They're just waiting for the sun and the weather temperatures and the rainfall to be right for their own particular germination needs. So let's take a look and see how these are doing. Here we go. All right, what do we got? Nodding pink onion. I do see one little thing in there, but it doesn't look much like an onion to me, so not sure about those. In here we have Echinacea purpurea, but this container fell over, and so it's all mixed up, and I don't know if I see any in there or not. Nope. Great camera skills, eh? Liatris, nothing happening. Pink dandelions, I do see some. Yay! My husband thinks I'm crazy for planting dandelion seeds. Oh well. All right, here we've got all my gallon sized milk containers. Uh, Scabiosa, foxglove, blackberry tiger, um, blackberry lily, agastache, foxglove, snapdragon, snapdragon stock, larkspur, status, status stock, etc. And then back in here we've got sweet peas and some other things. So let's just take a peek down in the holes. This is scabiosa. Do we see anything? Mm, nope. More scabiosa. Ooh, yay, a couple of little green things there. Foxglove Camelot mix, anything? Nope. Blackberry Lily? Nope. Agastache? Nope. Camelot mix Foxglove. Oh yeah, is that one or two? Yes. Yay! Maybe three? Yay! Potomac Pink Snapdragons? Nope. Madam Butterfly Rose Snapdragons. Nope. Bridal Pink Snapdragons. Maybe, but no. Quartet Rainbow Stock. Lots of activity in there. Yay, that's good. Larkspur Lovers Mix. Nope. More Larkspur Lovers Mix. Nope. Okay, let me reposition here. Status. Seeker White Status. Yep, yeah, we got some. They're a little bit clumped together, but oh well. Uh, Seeker blue status. Yep, good. Iron white stock. Yes, lots of stock. Good. All right, that's the last of my milk jugs. So let's see what's in this pretzel container. There's something green in there, whatever it is, but where's my label? Uh, did I not label it? What? I guess I didn't. I'll have to go back and look at my video and see what's in this pretzel container. Canterbury Bells, anything? Yeah, I do see a little green thing in there, good. Delphinium, Pacific Giant, anything in there? Hard to tell. Sweet Pea, Mammoth Choice, anything in there? Hard to tell. 
sweet pea old spice mix anything in there yes okay great awesome all right now i have these trays of things let's see what we got in here lunaria do we have any lunaria sprouted yeah i think so a couple of green little things in there good that's also called honesty or money plant soapwort anything in here soapwort nope so that's the status on all of my seed starting efforts. Oh, I forgot to mention, Pancho the Ancho is inside and he is struggling along because he's just not warm enough. I've got to figure out how to keep him warmer. He is on the heat mat. He still has his two little cotyledon leaves, his two little seed leaves, and he's just started to put out two true leaves just from the center. You can see them barely starting to come out. I've um, I fertilized him with a soft, gentle strength of fish fertilizer, fish emulsion, and I'm trying to keep him warm, but he doesn't seem to be thriving, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about that. Maybe he's putting his effort into his root system. Maybe that is why he's growing slowly. I don't know. So anyway, this isn't a seed single seed challenge update video. I'll do one of those separately. Um, so anyway, that's what's happening. So my seed efforts are coming along. I would say my indoor ones are doing better than my winter sown ones so far, but we're still only in the first week of March. So I don't expect that all of these seeds will have germinated yet. They're not supposed to have yet. Mother nature says it's not time for you, maybe. So on the other hand, some of them, maybe they're just not gonna work. I don't know, we're gonna find out. That's why it's all a grand experiment. How's your winter sowing coming along? How's your indoor sowing coming along? What are you doing in your seed starting efforts this spring? Put a comment down in the section below and let's all chat with each other about how our seeds are doing. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video real soon, friends. Take care, bye.